more on Don's basketball. We welcome in Coach Rex Walters to the show. Coach, you lose all conference standout Cole Dickerson to graduation. Where do you look to replace his productivity? Well, you know, we had we had a pretty deep team. You know, I think we had four guys averaging double figures. We had a couple guys at eight or nine points. So obviously, Cruz Pinkins and Mark Tolson will be a big part of what we do. Uh, I think Tim Dirksen's really ready to step up, and and I think he'll probably be a starter this year. Although he's really good coming off the bench. Um, we'll, we'll miss both Cole and Avery. You know, th those are two guys that had the ball in their hands a lot, an awful lot at the end of games. So uh, we have to make some adjustments there. We'll be bigger. We'll be more athletic than we were last year, deeper. Uh, but, yes, we'll, we'll definitely miss Cole, who's having a great uh, career so far in Holland. Uh, so th those are some big shoes to fill. Does the offensive identity change any with these two losses? Uh, you, you know, we still are, are, are very much uh, uh, an inside-out team. You know, last year we really committed to that, uh, just getting the ball to Cole, getting the ball to Cruz, getting the ball to Mark. You know, Mark will, will probably get a lot more touches. Cruz will get a lot more touches, but, but also we need some perimeter players. You know, Chris Adams, who's here today, will be someone that we need. Uh, we need his perimeter shooting. We need Tim Dirksen's perimeter shooting. We got some good point guard play in, in both Devin Watson and Frank Ferrari, but they're freshmen, so, you know, you, you've got to kind of – uh, bring them along, uh, get them used to how we do things. And then we've got some good bench play with Corey Hilliard and Uche Fogobu. And, you know, Chase Foster may surprise the people as well. Coach, you're coming off one of the most successful seasons in recent Don's history. Where do you guys need to tech, take the next step in terms of growth? Wow, you know, we had a lot of success, obviously, against uh, every team except for BYU and Gonzaga. So mm -hmm. th those are big games. Every game's a big game. And w w people talk about our 13-5 and five record. There were so many one, two, three, four, five-point uh, wins, both at home and on the road. So the margin of error is really small. So obviously we've got to continue to do a great job on the defensive end. Uh, be a great rebounding team, which I think we'll be better at with Darrell Robertson and, and Matt Christensen playing a little bit more for us. We'll have more size. Uh, but it all starts on the defensive end. You know, my guys hopefully have it ingrained in the hands. We're all about being in great stance, uh, great talk, great jump to the ball, and great playing of personnel and finish everything off with a box out and rebound. That, that's who we are. That's what we are. And then we'll figure out ways of scoring the other end. We, we've got some good shooters, good penetrators, good post play, uh, and we'll, we'll play through our posts. Lastly, Coach, who's improved most in the offseason and the preseason here that you think's poised for that breakout year? Wow. Um, it's a tough question. You know, Cruz was really good. Uh, he, you know, he missed a few the first, uh, the first couple practices. Mark Tolleson's been really good. Uh, and not even he doesn't even press the issue. He just kind of plays and gets a lot of things done. And, and Tim's probably been our most consistent. He's one of our hardest workers as, as well as Matt Glover. So we're going to beat you with five, six, seven, eight guys. That's just the way we play. We're very aggressive. Uh, I'm one of those coaches that I'd rather have a player shoot a bad shot aggressively than a good shot tentatively. So we're going to attack you uh, both on the defensive end and offense. So I really don't know, but you'd, you'd probably see one of those four guys really step up for us. Great stuff, Coach Walters. Thanks for the time, and best of luck to you guys this season. Thank you.